I'm sure I'll never know what it was like to lose a loved one in the tragedies of September 11. But I can say that I know it's no fun when you lose something or somebody who means a lot to you. I know what it's like because that did happen to me this past September. My granddad passed away on September 14th after battling a long illness. Hey, Kiwa, where are you going? I'm on my way to the office to look for my gold chain. You know, the one that my grandfather gave me. Oh, that gold chain, I can't believe you lost that chain. Yeah, I'm going to go see if it's in the lost and found. Oh, man. Oh, would you mind doing me a favor? No problem. Oh. I think my shoe's in the lost and found box. I don't know where it's at. I lost it a while ago. Yeah, no problem. I'll see if it's there. Okay, I gotta go to class. Bye. All right. I'll see you later. It had been my granddad's pocket chain. We were super close, and he gave it to me right before he died. I've already looked just about everywhere for it. I realized it was missing yesterday when I was playing basketball after school in the gym. I looked all over the gym for it, but it was nowhere. I must have lost it earlier in the day, or maybe somebody took it. I did find my friend Yuris' ring, though. Yuris, guess what? What? I got something for you. Boy, was she surprised when I gave it to her this morning. And right before that, Brandon and I were looking for my gold chain on the way to school. We didn't find it, but we did find something else. A $20 bill. My very first thought was to keep it. But then I remembered something. There's a kid at school named Eric. His dad got laid off from work and hasn't been able to find a new job. The whole family had it pretty rough because of that. So I gave him the $20. I know he really needed it. It just seemed like the right thing to do. I sure wish I could find Granddad's chain. It's bad enough losing Granddad, and now losing his chain too. After I got home from school yesterday, I looked all over the house. In the process, I discovered some things that I hadn't seen in a while. Like in the dresser, no gold chain. But I did come across the last portrait taken of granddad and grandma. Under the bed, no gold chain. But I found a football that I forgot was there. In the washing machine, no gold chain. But I did find some coins. I admit, I even looked in a rather unlikely place just in case the chain got put in the fridge by mistake. After a slice of pumpkin pie, I was still determined to be thorough with my search and make sure no nook or cranny was missed. Kiwa, not before dinner. I'm just looking for my chain. What you talking about, Kiwa? It wasn't in the cookie jar either. In class today, I was really sad. I couldn't concentrate. So I asked Ms. Reed if I could check the lost and found. When I explained to her the situation, she let me go. If I don't find it here, then I, I just don't know where to look. You're looking for hats, gloves, scarves? Scarves, hats, mittens, sweaters. Even Jamie's gym shoe. Yeah! But, once again, no gold chain. Though not in the grand proportions experienced by so many on September 11th,
still I do understand loss. And so consequently, I also understand something else. As some things get lost, so often other things get found. In my case, many things I did find, I didn't even know were missing. Sometimes I got to make others real happy with the things I found. As some things got lost, other things got found. On September 11th, lost were valuable lives. Lost was our sense of national security, at least for the time being. Lost was the beautiful New York skyline as we knew it. And lost was much, much more. But found was a renewed sense of unity and patriotism throughout our country. Found for many people is a better order to their priorities and the way they structure their lives. For many, found was a new appreciation for people and relationships. For many people, found was a new meaning in life. And I'm sure that found was even much, much more. You know, I've come to realize I may never find that chain. For me, finding all these other things for other people, it just doesn't make up for it. But at least nobody can take away from me my memories of my granddad. Chain or no chain, granddad I'll never forget.